Hello and welcome to a special video in uh, which I will tell you and show you a bit about a game called Nahlak, which was created in 1994 by Tom Proudfoot. It's a tactical combat focused role playing game. Uh, inspired by uh, games like Ultima 5 and, and, and that kind of things. Uh, the game really excels on the, on the tactical combat. It has an interesting interesting uh, magic system and uh, learn by doing skill system and uh, quite, quite detailed combat, uh, especially considering that it's 17 years old. The game game runs on, on DOSBox and it's uh, available on, uh, on Tom's, Tom's forums. Uh, I'll put the links in the, in the description. The original game didn't have any music, but uh, somehow uh, Tom salvaged some music uh, his brother had done for the game that never got released and uh, he did put uh, mp3s on the on the forum so I'll be playing them from the external external player uh, hopefully hopefully this will work but, uh, but let's see and while the, while the title title music is playing I'll uh, I'll start creating uh, creating my characters. A plague has swept over the tranquil island of Reka, your home for your entire lives. People sicken and die, some going mad in the process. The council has decided that the evil has spread from Nedley Island, some miles to the west. You are appointed to find the cause of this burial and put stop to it. Eight of you have been chosen. So yeah, in the, in the game I control a group of eight heroes. And the stats are uh, strength, intelligence, dexterity and health. There are no no derived stats, just the one ones here. And the strength affects um, how much damage the character does. So obviously that is important for for melee characters. Intelligence is only used for magic and uh, and non-combat skills like uh, uh, disabling traps, disarming traps, uh, searching uh, merchant. And uh, hunting and, and skills like that. Dexterity affects uh, the speed of the character, uh, which uh, gives initiative in the tactical combat, uh, enabling the character to move move first, and also the number of action points or moves in the combat. You'll see how that works when I get to the combat. I'm first creating a couple of uh, sort of tank warrior characters, they don't need any intelligence and I'm giving them 50 strength, 50 dexterity so they'll be relatively fast but um, focusing on strength and have some health. The health works in a way that um, when, an, when the character falls below half of the health, the character drops unconscious and uh, when the health goes to zero, the character dies. So uh, let's create our first uh, warrior. The uh, races and classes are chosen by picking uh, an icon for the for the character. The first three here are, are warriors, human warriors. Then there are wizards. There are priests. And in order to be able to cast spells, I need to pick a wizard to be able to do prayers, which are the priest spells. I need to pick a priest. Then there are merchants, uh, more warriors, there are some uh, ranged, 
range classes like hunters and such. Uh, in addition to, to being the class and giving those magic abilities to the certain classes like these priestesses, uh, the icon affects a bit on the starting stats. But uh, apart from the magic skills uh, which are needed to cast the spells, the everything else can be trained by using them. And now I think here we have some elves and more elves, uh, dwarves, uh, halflings, so basically hobbits, and uh, I think there are some like gnomes or or something like that, uh, ogres, orcs. A little green alien, and now I think this is just a human, and then the witch also can cast spells. So my first characters will be the kind of tanks. So I'll choose choose that fellow, and then the, I can re-roll my skills. Um, just uh, rolling, so I get some shield and hopefully a sword knife. Yeah, that's that's good. Then create another one exactly like that one. No minimum intelligence. Dexterity 50, health 45, and done. And let's pick that uh, two handed axe. Holding ogre. Yeah, that's it. And uh, let's roll to give some axe and two handed axe skills. And hopefully we'll find an X. Yep, that's good. Okay, then let's create a couple more of these combat-oriented uh, characters, but this time with a little more uh, range units focus, so kind of uh, archers. So let's pick that guy. Yes, bow skill, crossbow shield. Yeah, that that's good actually. Let's keep that one. Can no intelligence, more dexterity, little less health. Let's pick a halfling this time. And roll the skills to get little bow skills. I don't remember exactly what these uh, uh, non-numeric values mean, but the, but the highlighted one is the is the best skill for this for this character. So let's try to get sloppy bow bow and sling. Well, let's see if we can get both bow and crossbow. Oh, there it was, but I missed it. Rerolling, rerolling. I think that's good. No, I don't have crossbow. Bow and a crossbow, sling, shield, no, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, and then the, then the magic users. This is a bit uh, different from pretty much uh, any game I've played. The strength is used to cast the spells. There is no mana, just the strength, the kind of uh, stamina, if you will. And then, uh, if I use all my strength, I can then use health to cast spells. But uh, an intelligence uh, gives me the, mag uh, the magic skills and uh, makes the um, makes the magic more powerful. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, the fact that I, I will be using strength and possibly health to cast spells, that is that is really interesting. Inter interesting system. So let's pick this uh, this wizard guy. Make him jump off. And, uh, and yeah, uh, in, uh, in the game, because I can use the strength and health to cast spells if the strength runs out, uh, it, in theory I can uh, I can uh, cast so many spells, sort of sacrificing the mage that uh, he falls unconscious. But uh, 
but that, that is still an option, of course I don't want to do that, but it's an option, so it, I, I really like that in the in this, uh, in this system. Uh, the game itself is um, is pretty much uh, killing killing enemies and uh, looting what they drop, uh, taking those those things into town, selling them, selling the loot, and uh, repeat. And uh, according to the game's health files or manual, uh, the game takes about 200 hours. Uh, back in the mid 90s, I never, never finished the game. Uh, never finished the game. But uh, but I really liked the game a lot. And uh, in this game, uh, my gamer tag Jimolf was Jimolf was born. As uh, I created two mages like I did now, one of them was an ice mage, one of them was a fire mage. Or oh, that, that's how I thought about them. And uh, as you look at the names, uh, let's see if you can if you can crack that code. Okay, and then I will create one, at least one priest. Just heal spells. Let's see, prayer. Let's get deficient prayer if we can. And some other skills as well. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Let's make another priest so we have two healers. Give slightly more intelligence to her. Battle music kicked in. Let's go back to the title music and save the battle music to the battle. Okay. Let's go with that one. Okay, that's the character creation. And now I'm uh, set to the wilderness. There are creatures approaching me from the south. And uh, there's a town northeast from me where I could escape. And uh, I have the eight characters on the right with their strength and health. I can change the active character, and that character's skill is used if I do some uh, some searching or selling and buying and uh, hunting and things like that and uh, I can I will first need to equip these characters so I open the inventory and backpack and uh, there's no no items items at the moment worn or held so let's wear wield the spear and wear the armor then let's see if what kind of weapons we get? Okay, let's let's give on the bottom. I can I can transfer things to other characters. So let's give that armor to Smash, and let's give that to the Archer. Another spear, knife. Yeah, the the armor. Armors and weapons are random. Random here, so I want to I want to give the best weapons to the four melee characters because these these uh, magic users don't need them. Yeah, spear. 
Okay, so let's see. This guy has armor and spear. That's good. Smash has gilded armor and a large knife. This guy has spear and armor. Let's give that spear actually there. Give the large knife there. I don't have any any bows at the beginning of the game, and a dagger is. Pretty much the worst worst weapon there is. And I will give every every unused Whoa. I think I hit a help button there. I didn't mean to do that. A weapon. I'm okay. Knife. Dagger. Okay, and then let's take a look at the spell books. The magic system is such that the spell books teach me the spell words. So the to cast a spark, it's a, a rock im fur. So throw small fire. And uh, the system works in a way that if I uh, if I learn or get the knowledge of, uh, for example, what what word is uh, is water or ice or earth, I can do throw small uh, ice, throw small earth, throw small uh, electricity or or shock, and uh, it's always always the same. And of, uh, if I learn a word for large, I can do throw large fire. And the spell books are only needed to learn these words. Uh, the game game sort of a hint book or, or guide. The, all the spells are listed, but uh, where's the where's the fun in that? And uh, yeah, like and here here it is. The other guy had the throw small fire and this guy has uh, the throw small earth, so it's always uh, rak, im, and then the earth is uh, xa, so x, and the fire was fur, so f, and uh, I can use these in, in combat. And then the healer spells, uh, the cure bleeding, so it's like uh, remove new fast vir and a wound uh, core or sore core uh, and uh, here is the remove so it removes the bleeding and then uh, if I if I learn a word for like uh, like cure or heal then I can do a heal fast wound uh, to uh, or heal heal small wound to uh, to uh, regain health. Let's see what the last one is. Awaken. Okay, so uh, new, uh, maybe ma like magic, and then some for sleep. So uh, if uh, if a character falls unconscious uh, because the health drops uh, below half of the health, or some uh, some uh, magical sleep spell is is cast. So in here, as I learned the sleep from the prayer book, uh, which is probably some there in the end, I can actually try to cast uh, like a sleep ray spell with the wizards by uh, uh, throwing small sleep. I'm not sure if that works, but uh, I can try that. So that's how the game works. At the, the magic system works. At the, at the beginning, I don't. Um, I'm not that skilled with the characters yet. So, for example, a lot of the hits in melee will miss. Uh, my magic spells will fail, and uh, so on. But uh, to show how the combat works, let's let's fight these uh, some things. 
let's put the, let's put the battle music on. And um, yeah, these are these are kobolds. Yeah, kobold warriors and kobolds. So now. Uh, the ones with the highest dexterity have the initiative, they can move. And here I have my my character. My character, uh, strength 40, health 45, movement 4. So I can move 4 times. And in the... In the... Around the character, there is the... There is the sort of white line that shows uh, which direction I'm facing. And uh, then I can move four times. And during the turn I can either attack or I can uh, rest or I can set the character on guard. Which means that if uh, if uh, enemy comes next to this uh, character he will hit. So it's kind of readily waiting there with the weapon. And the Characters in these positions 1 to 4 are the front line, so they can uh, protect the, protect the uh, magic users. I'll, I'll stop the music for now. So yeah, let's try that magic show. Pro small rock. That's a fail. Throw small rock. And that's a success. So let's throw rock at this cobalt. And uh, I don't have anything to do with the priests yet, so let's rest. Nothing to do with the priestess either, as I don't know any uh, damaging priest spells. Let's try to throw small fire. <laughs> Throw small fire. And that's a success. Let's try to drop this guy. And now that we are close enough, we can move next to the foe and then move into the enemy to hit. In addition, uh, I can change the combat style, uh, attack style I'm doing. If I would be skilled enough, I could uh, aim for vital organs or neck, but the, the numbers, the minuses are the penalties to the attack. And I can also go into wild killing attack, which would uh, give me penalty to the defense. The default is the normal careful attack, where I, it's just like uh, plus minus zero. All the Also attacks. Actually, I don't know if their default is actually on the neck, but I'll, I'll put it on normal. So let's guard. Yeah, it is actually possible that they had the default on neck. That's really weird. I wouldn't need to move the spellcasters. The range ranges are quite. Quite large, but I still do. Let's try to throw small fire again. Yeah, I'm. As so I'm not not skilled that skilled yet, the uh, spells are failing, and, and uh, as the strength with the S in front is uh, is decreasing, it's uh, it's because uh, I'm using using that strength to cast the spells. And if the strength runs out, I will be using health if I want to continue casting spells. I think that's that's a really interesting, uh, interesting uh, magic system. In addition to that, that uh, spell word, uh, spell word system that uh, I can invent my own own spells. Oops, I was hitting the unconscious one. It's e it's enough to let's rest enough to 
gets all. Let's fight the croc. Enough to get all the all the opponents unconscious. That's enough to win the battle. And the similarly, if they put uh, everyone in my group unconscious, that it, that it's enough as well. And that unconscious was uh, dropping to half health. And uh, the tactical side of the combat is that uh, uh, you can't go in the same square with. Uh, with a corpse or, or enemy in it. So, uh, because of that, uh, uh, those uh, those couples can't get past my warriors and harm harm the spellcasters, or at least they need to go go around. Yeah, this. Uh, Magic skills aren't high, so I'm failing, failing a lot with them. Okay, and that spell dropped the cobalt unconscious. So you're missing the cobalt satellite, the easy, easy opponent in the game. I changed the attack yet now. I don't need to change it every time, do I? That's really weird. I don't know how this works. Let's try that fire. And also, also there's a the in the combat there are dodges and blocks and uh, deflecting the shots. And, uh, and also uh, individual individual uh, enemies can lose their morale and uh, escape uh, i don't think there's a morale in the in the whole combat so uh, so unhurt opponents will fight to the end but uh, but uh, enemies who are hurt can can try to escape and uh, now that I I was actually already using my health to cast spells with uh, with Gemalf, I'll uh, I'll cast a healing spell. Uh, this is this was not in the spell book, but this is something I know from the remember because because it's pretty much the basic spell. So I'm doing like a cure small, food. but it's a, it's quite a hard hard prayer. So I can't necessarily get it off. I hope those were the right words, but that, that's part of the fun. Not knowing for sure. Okay, the warrior is down. Okay, all, all these guys are now unconscious. So uh, this uh, tank of mine doesn't have anything to anything to attack here. So need to need to move and again. Okay, now the now the heal was successful, so let's let's heal our wizard. And that that one cobalt there, and let's rest with the wizard. That one cobalt there in the back, uh, he couldn't get past the pile of corpses in front of him, so he couldn't couldn't uh, damage any any one of us. And then uh, one of the cobalts was. Uh, this one uh, was bleeding, so losing health every turn, and uh, he lost uh, too much blood or his health, and uh, fell unconscious as the health drop below health, health of the maximum. And uh, also in the in the combat, there are the, there are kind of a physics in it. If uh, if someone is hit hard enough, they will. Uh, uh, they can fly, f sort of fly, fly backwards, and uh, they can collide with objects like trees or other enemies, and that will, uh, of course, cause more damage to the to the one flying and and whatever, uh, whatever he uh, collides with. Okay, there's only this one guy left, 
if I get him unconscious or eat whatever, uh, the combat will be over. Okay, there's one more there. He's looking at this enemy. His friends being butchered. Let's try to get a spell on it. Oh, it's a shaman too. Hasn't cast any spells, that's weird. Ah, there it goes. We are victorious! And now that I have uh, won, I'm looting, looting the good, so let's take those, uh, those armors. And then uh, I'm this uh, blue. Blue wizard is my merchant, so I'm giving him everything, everything else. So yeah, that's the that's the combat side of uh, of Nahlak, and now I will head to the town, which is uh, north northeast there, and I will enter it. Let's play a little town music, and uh, the strength and health are, uh, they uh, regenerate slowly. I can rest in the town, so I can rest in the wilderness, but it's dangerous. I can rest in towns to regenerate that, so let's uh, let's do that. So uh, some time passed there, and it rests until uh, uh, all the strength and health is uh, close to close to being full. And in the towns, I can read the signs by moving towards them. So I'm in the town of Nedli, and then there's this uh, this uh, blue blue guy there. So uh, let's talk to him. His name is Sven. Be careful of couples, men. They get mean. Okay, so he's probably some sort of guard guard of this this uh, town. And who's this this little guy? It's Laszlo. Okay, Laszlo tells us about catacombs below the most of the towns. So there's probably a secret entrance or sewers. And now let's see what's this. Okay, it's Nedley Mayor, Ned 17th. Okay, let's open the door and now let's talk to the fat guy. Yes, official audience would be nice. And uh, the mayor would like us to clear the tunnels south of the city and clear the tunnels. So this is the kind of first first quest in the in the game. And uh, I won't go there there now, but that that uh, those there are at least ten or even more groups of cobbles in the in the tunnels. And that is like the there's a lot of lot of combat in the game, like 90-95% 90, of the game is in combat. And uh, apart from that, it's running back to town and selling the loot. Let's try to open open the chest. Okay, I there was a trap trap in the in the chest, and I got stuck with a needle. And now now Chemalf is poisoned with that with that green marker on the health. But uh, and I don't have any lock picks as the chest was uh, apparently locked. What's this place? This is weapons. Let's go here and talk to the guy. Let's sell. Sell the stuff I don't need. I don't need the spell books if I remember the spells, and now I do. At least that one. So let's, let's sell. Prepare that. Sell the daggers. What is this bone? Okay, the bone can be used as weapon. Actually, not the, not even such a bad weapon. Actually, the bone makes more damage than than large knife, which is kind of interesting. And I can manage the inventory even here at the at the shop. The spear is really good. Cool. Can I can turn that? Put, give these guys there. 
knives and then uh, sell the rest. Actually, keep the knife there. The one is this. Okay, we already had a knife. So, uh, shock. Throw small energy. So, G is energy. Not that I can sell the shock. Sell the weapons. Sell the spell book. Uh, I'll keep these. I don't remember these spells yet as I haven't used them that much. I'm assuming these would be quite quite expensive. Yeah. Expensive weapons. Axe. Axe would be great so. How much for axe? Alright, I will buy an axe. An axe. What's that? Tirok. Hey, that's quite cheap. Let's buy that one. Let's put the leather armors on. Spear, red armor, even red armor and spear. Wait, you had okay. Spear is better than bone. Uh, maybe the priest can wear the wield the bone as it's it's mace after all. Spear armor, okay. Have it armor. Let's transfer it there and keep spear as well. Sweat armor and spear and keep large knife there. Large knife, large knife, knife. Okay, and then the bone. Sweat knife, spear, okay. Sell knife, sell large knife. Then I have some, some money with me. No, I, do, I don't know the spell for cure poison so I'll visit the temple here ask talk to the priest to be cured yeah, 10 coins and also resurrect and heal myself if I'd like who's this guy okay he's an elf and uh, Apparently there are elves on the other side of the mountain, but the kobolds have taken over the tunnel as the mayor said and gave us the quest. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Nahlak for you. Uh, let's steal this guy's stuff. Okay, I can't. It's too bad. Yeah, that's uh, that's what Nahlak is about. Killing. Killing enemies and uh, hauling their stuff back back to town, and uh, stealing everything from the from the shopkeepers without them doing anything about it, and then uh, getting healed healed by the priest. Uh, the game is pretty pretty ruthless in the difficulty. Uh, The, the cobbles are easy, but uh, if I would uh, venture into the wilderness, I could run into all kinds of enemies. There are, I think, 300 or so different monsters, 200 different spells, and the weapons weapons are kind of uh, generated in, with a system that so that they can be enchanted and uh, and. Uh, special special kind of weapons and I think there are over 10,000 or something like that weapons weapons in the game so there's a lot of lot to do and uh, as said even the even the games games manual says that uh, it takes about 200 hours to pass the game so uh, I won't be doing a let's play on this but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, and not luck it's a special a game that has special place in my heart as I as I played it.
played it uh, 16, 17 years ago, quite a lot. I never, never got, got to, to see, see the end of it, but uh, I had a whole lot of fun and, uh, and uh, try the game out. I'll put the links to the description and, uh, and uh, as I said, it's, it works, works nicely with, with the box. So, uh, so yeah, until, until next time. Thanks and bye.